Hi everyone, what I'm going to show you today is about an automation control box <coughs> uh, represented by the main control box here. It has a voltage indicator, an indicator for the two loads. This one is not used, sorry for that. And then uh, a sensor for collecting humidity and temperature. And we have an HMI device which uh, uses tablet is a low-cost Android tablet okay. in this one we have a door sensor it is indicated there that this one is a sensor for a door that is prohibited to be open or that is monitored by switch and we have here the three buttons that is used to turn on each of the loads down below and this is for the bypass this one this is for the N2 valve, simulated N2 valve, and then an outlet presented by this man. <coughs> this switch is the sensor for our door. It is illustrated here that uh, if this switch is turned on, the alarm should be sounded. Or the alarm, the system will give us an alarm. Okay, but uh, I turn off, I turn off the alarm here. You see this bell? It will just give an indication of alarm but there's no sound but we can turn that one later on okay so in order for us to demonstrate let me turn on those uh, loads below okay this one corresponds to this uh, bulb the bypass and this one also the end to valve and and the outlet one is being represented by the light yeah so we can uh, take this display around as long as the Wi-Fi coverage is within reach so it, it doesn't need any wire or anything in order to be connected so that simplifies the manner of controlling <coughs> our devices and we can see that there are two bar graphs being displayed and the information therein is uh, R rather the temperature and the humidity values being collected by the sensor there upward so what does the green and the red means on the temperature scale on the temp on the right side this one we see that the bar is already on the, at the red area meaning the, the setup that I put is already exceeded it's already on the red area the green area is the only accepted area <coughs> according to whatever you want and uh, humidity as uh, it is still at the green area at 54 percent although we can customize this one we can uh, make uh, several uh, instruments say meter or whatever you like it is uh, package along with the software and then uh, if you notice the color of the switches below they're, they're red uh, representing or meaning the loads are on and if you turn them up one by one they will like this then if you look at the each color of each, of each button it turns to black now how do we know oh, for, for example, I want to uh, <coughs> take the record of the values measured by the sensor against time. How can I download them? The software is intelligent enough, provided by uh, a software guy, Liam, Liam Pro. It's a bit we know. And, uh, it's a very good software that you can, that you can collect data graphically as being shown so the switch below monitors the monitors the status of the switch below if I turn this off the signal wire floats to pass positive value and it is represented by 256 uh, <coughs> data and um, we saw that it is an analog signal it goes up and down and when I turn it on it will pull the data to 
Zero. As we see on the graph, if I put this one, if I switch this one, the graph will, be, will reflect the value. So, you can see also an SMS attempt has been sent, and then the cell phone that has been uh, uh, there, or say, it can send a message to concerned people if ever the switch is flipped so I turn, up, uh, turn it off and the graph should show it like that and then to demonstrate it again if I turn the switch on it will send a message to concerned user, concerned people <coughs> say, yeah and then we want to check the message and then it says here it came from the and it says door open equals on <laughs> you could customize the messages that will be sent depending on what you need <coughs> and then uh, you can see that on the graph we have two times that the door has been opened and on uh, the humidity and on the temperature <coughs> can also be recorded as well and it, it consists of the important information in there we have the minimum and the maximum values and then also we have the time the day and the average reading uh, reflected by the green color value there and then we can also download these things we can also download values by clicking it and then uh, exporting it in an excel format excel format and then later on you can save it and retrieve it from the tablet and transfer it to your pc for further analysis or whatever uh, <coughs> you want with the data then we go go on again to our home page uh, if this button is uh, turned on or the door it will be reflected on this uh, <coughs> indicator okay. there is also an alarm sound if I turn it off again and then there is a message again and then uh, I turn on the, the sound oops excuse me that's not what I want I just turn okay I turn on the active alarm the sound okay and then every time I flip this one, it will give us. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not turned on. So let me turn it on. There, it's again a message. And then I turn on the alarm like that, and then goes back. And then switch on the button again. Ah, no message still. Sorry. There again. Turn on. What the heck? Turn on like that. Active alarm. Then okay. Now the alarm signal is active already. And then when I turn on the switch. Yeah. and all we have to do is to clear the alarm now and then <coughs> turn off the switch like that <coughs> so what what other functionality we have is from this one uh, from the remote device we can also control the relays oh no the loads actually so uh, uh, for example I would like to turn on the bypass load here the red one from this phone all I have to do is just to respond by typing bypass space on and send the message to the controller after sending the message sending 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 I think there's no load for this 
no. Sending no load. Ah, there is a load. Failed. So we cannot send a message. Sorry. So. Uh,